All right, guys, welcome back to CP24 Breakfast. Very special guest in studio right now. Felicia George is with us. She is going to be competing in the 2015 Pan Am Games. She is a world-class hurdler. So happy that you're visiting us here on CP24 Breakfast Oh, my Breakfast pleasure, this my morning. pleasure. Okay, so talk to me a little bit about your path to get to this point, because I know that you competed in London in mm -hmm. the Olympics, and now the Pan Am Games. Yeah, well I should say they're actually selecting the team on June 14th, so you know, it's kind of the grind to get there and to qualify for the Pan Am Games. Um, but I've been running forever, <laughs> you know, since I was in high school and training, training five days a week. I went away to university, University of Connecticut on a full scholarship. And right now I'm training in the High Performance Center in Toronto, and I have, you know, three amazing coaches who just, you know, really pushed me to become a world-class athlete and then kind of broke out out. 2011, I was in World Championships, I was a finalist. 2012, I was a finalist at the Olympics. So now we're just kind of moving beyond and getting on the podium and continuing to work hard. What kind of dedication does it take and, and <laughs> I mean, willpower to get mm -hmm. up in the morning mm -hmm. to do this training regime that you have? Because I'm sure it's crazy intense. Yeah, I believe that track is one of the hardest sports to do. I might be yeah. a little biased, but I mean, I literally have some workouts where I've thrown up and then it's coaches like get back on the line, there's more to do type of thing. And you just have to be so mentally strong and, and ment mentally tough. But I mean, you're passionate about it and I love it. And um, I just have a burning desire for greatness. That's the way I like to say uh -huh. it. And you know, just want to get out there and I want to be number one in the world. And so, I mean, that's what really, you know, drives me every morning. You're from Toronto? From Toronto. So what's it like to have, you know, the, these world-class games in the city that you're from? Yeah, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I think a lot of track athletes, we never have the chance to ha kind of have our family and our friends see what we do on a daily basis. Um, and so I think it's going to be really exciting. I'm so excited that the Pan Am Games are here. And for everybody from Toronto, to kind of cheer on those home, our hometown hometown athletes, yeah. I think it's going to be really great. And so, is the community, like the hurdling community, pretty tight? Because I know that yeah. you're saying that you know pretty uh, police in. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because in Canada, the 100 meter hurdles has so much depth. So there's a lot of us that are you know world class. Um, and like I said, it's a small community in track and field, so we all kind of know each other. And a lot of the times, you're going to the same meets, you're seeing each other almost every weekend. So yeah. you, you mean you can't help but to know each other, right? <laughs> what is the <laughs> Ready for a pun, guys? What's the, what is the, the biggest hurdle, either mental or, mm -hmm. or physical, that you have had to overcome during the course of this journey for yourself? Um, I think it's just having the belief um, in yourself. Uh, you don't always, you know, you're going to have some races that don't go well. You, you can fall in the hurdles. Being able to pick yourself back up from those downs and, and you know, come back up. I've had injuries. I was injured in 2013 and, you know, kind of on the comeback. I've been injured kind of like I've had injuries throughout the career. But it's being able to always have that confidence in yourself and knowing that, you know, I'm going to come back stronger and better. And we were just looking at some video of you uh, in one of the competitions. You competed in London. What was it like to be on the world stage uh, in the Olympics? <laughs> yeah. I, it's and finished six. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was my first Olympics, so yeah. I was young and, you know, naive. Um, and I just went out there and I competed. And I think it's, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It, being in a stadium with so many people and standing at, at, the, at the line as a finalist, knowing, you know, I'm one of the best in the world right now and just kind of going out there and doing what you, what you know how to do, what you practice all the time to do. And I know that you speak often to, to younger girls. Mm -hmm. What's the message that you wanted to deliver to them in terms of, uh, you know, whether or not they think they can be athletes and be, you know, uh, Olympians and compete in the Pan Am Games one day? Right. I mean, the biggest thing I always try to stress is to dream big. I mean, in high school, I wasn't the superstar. I wasn't highly recruited going into university. So I always try to just stress, you know, don't be afraid to dream big. Don't let anybody put limits on what you believe you can do. And, you know, just always encouraging girls to kind of step outside of their boundaries and, you know, anything they want to do, they can do it. Okay. Anything they want to do, they can do it. I want to know a bit about this training regime because you you have a pretty intense one. You're going to show me a couple of moves here right now. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to do morning. some drills. The couch we usually do morning. some A skips, so I'm going to just show you right here. Okay, so I got to follow you and do follow what you're me. doing here. Skip on out. Okay, and now what else? So will we do push-ups or what? Let's go over here. <laughs> More? Okay, you can also do B, so those are A's. You can also do where you extend out your leg. You go like this. <laughs> Jamie, why don't you come and participate now, this? This is the one well. I would usually wear, so it's a little different. But yeah, so. With the push ups. No? You want some push ups? Yeah. I can do some push ups. Push -ups? Okay, we're going to go to break.
Felicia George, thank you all for joining us this morning. CB24 Breakfast. <laughs>